Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 12.1 beta 2 has been out for a few days. I've been using it on this device and of course if you saw the update video I have it on older devices as well such as the 5s right here and I thought we'd talk about how it's been. Now on the 10s max there still is those issues with LTE and Wi-Fi that's not fixed in this version of the beta so this still has those issues and if you take a look here I only have one bar of signal and if this was my 8 plus for example I might have two or three bars of signal so there's definitely an issue going on hopefully Apple can resolve it with a software or firmware update now as far as the issues that we've been experiencing I went through all of your comments and kind of put them together and they seem to be the same things I'm experiencing so the first thing is settings still freezes and we saw this with the iOS 12 beta and it seemed to be fixed by the time it was released but there's still some hiccups and usually I'm finding it happens at least two times a day I'll just Maybe I'll open settings for something. It will completely lock up. I have to give it a moment or go out like this, go back in and it will work. So it's working now as you can see, but it does freeze from time to time. Also, one person mentioned that their battery wasn't charging when they put it on the wireless charger, set it there overnight, woke up and it hadn't charged, even though they had set it there like normal. And I actually had that exact same issue. I set it on the wireless charger like I always do and I thought it came on like I always see it, but it actually didn't charge. Now I have had this with older versions of iOS, iOS 12 betas, but this is the first time I've had it on this phone and it seems to be in beta too. So I'll be reporting that in feedback and make sure you do that as well. If you're, if you're testing the betas, you want to give feedback to help Apple know about those if they're not familiar with it. Now they probably are, but if they're not, it always helps them to get more information. Now, another issue I've been having is CarPlay. CarPlay seems to be really slow and unstable in this beta. When I went from iOS 12 to, to the betas, 12.1 betas, it's glitching and really slow. I've been using Google Maps with it and Apple Maps and everything else, but it's still a little bit glitchy from time to time, and I'm not really sure why, but hopefully they'll fix that as well. Now, the other thing some people mentioned were graphical glitches, so maybe you'd have some lines in the screen when you took a photo or some other issues. I haven't experienced any graphical glitches whatsoever, but many of you have, and I thought I'd just mention it. Now, other than settings freezing, other people have reported apps freezing. I've only really had that once or twice, maybe with the App Store or something like this, uh, but most of the time, it's pretty fast. I haven't really had any issues as far as that goes. Now, battery has been pretty good overall. Many of you reported that it was good. In fact, very few said that it was bad. But if we go in to see what my battery has been like, I tend to get about five hours of screen on time. Now, a lot of you message me and say, how can I see usage time? And you just can't anymore. Usage time was never truly accurate. In fact, screen on time is more like how Android measures it. And you can see here, this is over the last 24 hours, four hours and 26 minutes of screen on, one hour and 57 minutes of screen off time. It's jumping on its own for some reason, so that's another issue. And you'll see I've been using the personal hotspot quite a bit today. And it's doing okay. Now it was plugged in, you can see it was charged there. But if we go back over the past 10 days, it's fairly consistent depending on the day about this last four days that's the beta uh, has been fairly consistent about four and a half this day was a little bit less but four and a half to five in the 10s max now for those of you that are familiar with my videos you'll know i don't normally use a case but now we're dealing with a 1250 dollars phone this is the 256 gig variant and so I need to be a little bit more careful, have a little bit more grip. I do like to use it without this, but there's something that's just not as seamless as the other phones either. The build is not as good, in my opinion, as far as these edges go. Something I noticed. I'm curious if you, you noticed that as well. Compared to the 10, it just doesn't seem as smooth around the edges. But that might just be the larger screen or in the phone, I'm not sure. Let's take a look at what you had to say in the YouTube community poll. If we go in here, you'll see over 5,000 of you voted, so I appreciate that. And 60% of you said this was great. Only 5% said terrible. That's pretty good. I've seen it as low as 4%, uh, but 5% over 5,000 views is really good. Only 18% had bugs and 17% are using Android. Now I've read every single one of these comments and most of them are pretty positive. And <laughs> other than some things like this pretty good just mad that my friends can't see my new emojis but it'll be soon enough of course when this comes out but if we go all the way to the bottom wait for it to load here see there's a lot of comments in fact i read them all right before i made this video 
and put together what you were having as issues. Now, this was one of the few that said battery life could be better. Uh, they didn't say what device it was, though. But I went through every one. You can see great, 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 great performance on my secondary device. iPhone SE is great. I don't complain of battery life. I don't use heavy apps or games on it. I hope they fix the True Tone issue for the 8 Plus and 8 Plus is my main device and I missed the feature. Uh, I'm assuming you had your screen replaced and if you did, uh, usually only Apple can turn that back on, but you might wanna try bringing it to them. Usually that's the issue with that. Uh, okay, but some bugs, 10S Max, slow data seems to occur when the phone is warm, like after recording high quality video and fast charging. I didn't notice it to be that, I just noticed it overall. Let's see, great, iPhone 10S and iPad 6. Great. Okay, but some bugs. I'm using 6S texting from Moto G4, but my iPhone is slightly slow, even so slightly battery is okay. Performance is slightly down compared to the previous versions. Let's see, great, but why have, this is when I saw this comment, and I don't know if you, if you're watching this video, if you can maybe try and explain that a little bit, I'm not sure what you mean. Great, but why they swapped the one, two, three and emoji keys on the iPad and not iPhone uh, in the keyboard. I honestly didn't notice, but I'll take a look at it again. Have not had any issues. Spunky real fast. Happy. I still wait till people start talking and YouTubing it. Usually that night or morning. You never know. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's take a look at a couple more. I don't use betas anymore. Eh, it's kind of beta life. This was the best of all the betas I've ever used, though. So if you're new to the betas, uh, it, it's been much worse, so this isn't bad. Good on my iPhone 10. However, the carrier stays up when the time is supposed to go and it occasionally respring's. I haven't had any respring's, thankfully. When turning on cellular data via control center, sometimes it hangs a little bit. I think that's just settings overall. It's kind of a bug. Uh, I Hopefully they can fix that. And then iPhone 8 Plus noticed a couple things. Some apps are freezing. So again, that's what I'm seeing over and over and over. Apps freezing, uh, but overall pretty good. Okay, but some bugs. I'm not using any type of beta, but I'm on iOS 12. The battery's good, but when the same bug is still there, that's when I put my iPhone 6 for charging, then it doesn't start charging until that charging bug that people are having seems, to, it's definitely fixed with this beta, or at least, except for the wireless charging, it seems, but it's definitely fixed with this beta, but some people are still having it with non-iOS, or non-iPhone XS and XS Max devices. And then again, this was the battery life with it not wireless charging. So that was an issue as well. But thanks again for all your feedback. I always appreciate it. And hopefully Apple will fix these issues. Make sure you, you put that in feedback again. If you're ever having any issues, the more feedback they get, the more data they have so that they can fix the more critical issues. Let me know what you think, though, in the comments below. Oh, and before we go, I wanted to show you that I have a 6S Plus here. This is actually my phone, and uh, this one has been in use, and so I haven't had it here, but it's been in use for two years straight. And so I'll do a follow-up on this, and then we have this to test the betas on as well now. So a lot of you have been asking for a 6S, so I have one here so we can check it out. So again, let me know what you think in the comments below. If there's anything else you'd like to see, let me know there also. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. Oh, and the wallpaper's in the description as always. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.